Hello everyone and welcome back to Humble Acres. My name is Jordan. What's your name? My name is Cooper. Cooper. And today we are going to be working on the FJs. We are going to do the rear suspension. So what we really need to do is this one right here. We need to remove the rear leaf springs. As you can see, I kind of welded the shackle back together here. And then on the front part, um, they cut it in half and I welded it back together just so we could move it around. It appears they tried getting these out and had troubles, but we'll have to get that out. And then they cut the brake line, of course. So we'll have to get a new brake line too. And then on the other side, it's actually good, but I'm gonna replace it as well because it looks like it's pretty beat up over there. And we're gonna get all those parts from this one. So these leaf springs are in good shape and it has brand new shocks on the back. So we're gonna take all of this stuff and put it on the other one and then we're gonna put the Old Man Emu lift kit suspension on this one. Right? Yep. Yep. So let's get to it. All right, so first we're gonna try to get this pin out. Um, the nut on the back has already been taken out. It, looks, it seems like it's kind of flared out, unfortunately. So yeah, it, I think they were hammering on the back of that pretty good, so. Um, I probably should actually grind that off so it's not going to catch because that's mushroomed out pretty decent. And eh, whatever, I'm sure it'll be fine. So we're going to stick this in here, hammer away, and then hopefully get it out. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut the back of this off because they kind of mushroomed it out when they were hammering on it. I'm pretty sure that's what's holding this up, so I'm gonna do that real quick. There we go. Oh. Got it. That one's junk. All right, got that one off. Well, no, because we have to do that four more times. <laughs> Actually, eight more times. Or one, two, three, four. No, we gotta do it quite a few more times, like seven more times. Seven? Yeah. We got this side out. We did break one of these bolts off, but once we get the leaf spring out, we should be able to get to the back side of it and hopefully just screw it all the way through that way. And then we shouldn't have to worry about that, hopefully. So now we just need to go to the back and get these shackles off. On the other side, um, I think I might just cut that shackle because it's already mostly cut anyway. But on this side, I'm going to actually try to get it off and uh, see what we can do. Hopefully it comes off fairly easy. Does that sound good? Yeah. All right, let's get to it. All right, I got that rear shackle off. What I ended up doing, it's kind of a new thing, but I didn't need the bushings. So I just took this drill bit and drilled around where all the bushing was and that freed it up pretty easily. So if you're putting new bushings on, I highly recommend that because that made it way easier. Um, now, instead of taking the uh, shocks off, we are just gonna take the U-bolts off and drop the leaf spring off and that way the axle will stay exactly where it is and we won't have to worry about trying to keep it lifted up and then when we get the other leaf springs on we can uh, remove the shocks and replace those.
ruin this blade too. Nothing. That was scary. <laughs> it fell. It fell. Hopefully it didn't hit me. It's also why I wanted you back away from it. The bad one's gone. Yeah. And this one doesn't want to break off. <laughs> Just chip the concrete a little bit. There we go. Oh, we will need this plate though. So, there we go. Bam, got the plate. All right. One more side to do. One down, one to go. Let's move to the other one. All right, so the rear leaf springs on this one, we're, it's exactly the same as the other ones. So we're just gonna take these off and then once we get them off, we'll show the process of putting them back on. Right? Yep. All right, let's do it. All right, as you can see, that axle is not in there anymore. And it is now over here. So I actually decided to take this one all the way off because if I'm going to be putting new suspension on it, I wanted to clean it up and paint it like the front one that I did. So that's why it's over here. I'm just going to paint it. I still have to get this other leaf spring off. I was able to get the nuts off of the U-bolts, luckily. They were very tight, but luckily they're the factory ones and they came off way better. The springs and shackles and stuff that were on this one were aftermarket because the nuts were not the right size. The springs are not original. So it actually might have had a little bit of a lift kit on it. I don't know. But this will be a good axle to keep and the one we're definitely keeping. So we'll get that leaf spring off and then get it all stripped down and we'll paint it. All right, so I've got the other leaf spring off there. And now we're starting to clean up the axle so we can paint it. I decided to just take this brake line off because it's going to be way easier to clean up the axle. So Cooper here is taking the brake line off on that side. Doing a good job, right? Yep. Yep. Doing real good. So once we get that off, we'll do the one on that side and then we'll just take this breather off right here. Take it all off in one piece. Hopefully these clips will bend up and not break off. And then we can just put it right back on. So we got this all painted. I got the brake line put back on now. And I also painted the uh, leaf spring mount plates here. And they should be dry now. I just painted them this morning, but they should be good now. Um, so I think what we're gonna do is actually put the new uh, Old Man Emu leaf springs on this and get this put back under the good FJ there. And then we'll deal with this mess over here. I also finally cleaned off my workbench. I had that engine block and stuff and crankshaft and all this stuff from it's from another project that I didn't even put on YouTube. It just I was parting out a car and selling all the parts on eBay and it just it was a mess because I pretty much tore apart the engine. It's a K series Honda engine, so the parts are pretty um, sought after because there's a K20A2 if you know anything about Hondas. It's a very good engine and a lot of the parts people use and want. So I was parting that out and 
I just kind of took the whole engine apart and laid it all across my workbench here and I haven't been able to use my workbench in probably two months. And it's been driving me insane. So I finally just threw away parts I wasn't going to sell or weren't worth selling and then I put the rest of the parts that I am currently selling up there. So yeah, this is just very nice to be able to have my workbench back. So this is actually very similar to the uh, front leaf springs it's basically exactly the same so i'm probably just going to time lapse this because it's yeah quite literally exactly the same so if you want to see how it's done you can look in this video up in the corner here and you can kind of see how it's done but i think i'm just going to time lapse putting these springs on and yeah it's just kind of all the same thing so So I got these all on there. They're just snugged up. They're not torqued or tightened or anything like that. I got the bushings and the leaf springs. So I think we are ready to go and slide it under the FJ over there and get everything lined up and put in there. <laughs> The suspension is on uh, it's uh, had a little bit of difficulty I can kind of go through it with you so we kind of have to go underneath we still need to get the shocks that's gonna be next but problem the problem we were having is with the drive shaft right here putting it on there was so much grease and stuff right here that it couldn't slide on anymore. And that was my big issue. I, I got everything put on, but this pin right here, I could not get to go in because I couldn't get the uh, axle to go forward anymore. And it all came down to this. So really what I found is this greaser right here, you need to take that out. It's a seven millimeter. Take that out and clean all this off and then force it on and it'll push a ton of grease out of here and you can just put that back in but it forces a ton of grease out here and it can move way farther on here but yep that was the big issue <laughs> but other than that everything went just as it should honestly it, if i if i didn't have to deal with that it would have been perfectly fine but that was the only weird thing so we just need to get the uh, shocks on so we'll put those on real quick and then we're gonna try to put those big tires 33 inch on the back here and set it down and see what type of clearance we get with the fenders here so let's get the shocks on they're sitting right over here and then we'll get the tires on set it down <laughs> Other side went just as smoothly as the first one. Yeah. 
It's actually not near as close as I thought it'd be. There's probably inch and a half, two inches right there. But as the suspension goes down, the axle actually moves back a little bit too. So we may not actually have a problem there. We could probably go 33s. All right, I got the front suspension jacked back up and I got the hubs on. Um, I didn't realize this, but I did have this gasket. Um, I'm still missing this gasket and I don't have one of those. I thought I did because I have these here, but they aren't the correct ones for this. So I'll have to find the correct gaskets. I actually thought these came with this gasket and it was just missing this one. So not quite sure what was going on there, but I can find that I'm sure not too hard, but these work fine. Everything went on good. I still have to torque these bolts down, but other than that, they're good to go. I switched to doing the steering stabilizer now. I actually got the nuts off already and the cotter pins out. So now we just got to get the ends out of the tapered part in here. And then we can get the new one in. Let's just keep hitting it, I suppose. You got it. Yep. Good. Now we just got this one to do. Hopefully it'll come on. Actually, we can get the... Oh yeah, the nuts off already. Got it. So have the old man emu one. Came with the kit. So let's see, this one goes like that. I think that's the way it was before, yeah. So um nope that uh, get this put in here. have a castle nut they just have a lock washer and a nylon locking nut so should be fine I think as far as the new suspension goes, everything is done. Um, the only thing we're missing on this right now is the front brake lines. I haven't gotten those. Um, I, I probably could go get them and put them on the front and because I have the rubber hose that goes right here. I just need the steel line that goes through there. And then we also need to replace this master cylinder and the booster. So this master cylinder I think I'm going to put on this one just to make it look nicer. That one's pretty corroded and disgusting, so might be a selling feature being able to say there's a brand new brake master cylinder on there. And then we are going to put the uh, disc brake one on here with the disc brake booster. So hopefully it all fits. I did quite a bit of research and it seemed like it should fit on there, so I guess we'll Hope and pray and see if it fits on there. All right, you can see FJ's out of the garage. Um, I actually decided that I'm going to split this video up into two parts because I just have so much footage and I really just don't like cutting out so much stuff. So it's gonna be a two-parter, kind of two-parter. It's just gonna be two different videos, but it's been driving, the brakes are all fixed and working and it is actually great. I don't have tires that I want yet. I didn't. I ended up not wanting to use the 33s because those wheels, you'll see in the next video on it, but the wheels hit the calipers, so they don't work. But I'm gonna end up using these wheels, which are stock ones off of, I believe it's an 88 Land Cruiser. So I'm gonna end up using these. I'm gonna get different tires for them, obviously, because these are bald, but that's what's going on, so. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.